Hey everybody, welcome to this DIY washi shelf storage video. Um, this is a bit of a mismatch of different bits of footage I filmed throughout the process, so it's been quite a long, not a long process, but like I've not done it all in one go, it's been kind of a gradual thing over the last month or so. Um, so yeah. So here at the minute I'm actually just cutting down the bit of wood, so all this is is a little bit of skirting board. Um, that's actually shaped like a bit of not quite a C but just a little bit of a beveled like curved edge and it just it fits absolutely perfect for the washi tape just to sit on um, and not just fall off so I'm just sanding the edge here um, in a minute I start painting this bit and then Sam comes in and helps me cut the excess off um, into make a little mini washi shelf so um, I just wanted somewhere to store my washi to make it more usable because at the minute I don't really, it, well before this it was in a basket and I didn't really use it a lot and I'd pick out a couple of rolls and then I'd forget I had the rest of it and blah blah blah. So the idea of this is that it's just easily accessible, it's all there in my craft room and I can just grab the roll I want. So here Sam's just discussing. Um, cutting this down he wanted to do it just into two parts to start with but I was saying that I'd prefer it to be taller and then it's not going to be as wide and take up as much room on the desk um, and in a minute I go and find a random bit of wood we had in the garage um, and it fits perfect for the kind of legs or either side of the shelves so here I'm just starting to paint the um, bit of skirting board um, this is just like a white all-purpose paint it's actually really thick and this brush I'm using is a bit pants it's just like a cheap um, paint like poster paint set I got um, really cheap so the bristles are actually it, it's going on really thick and it doesn't work very well so in a minute I go and try and find a better brush and I end up with a massive one that doesn't fit in the tin but it does the job <laughs> um, and in the background there you can just see Sam measuring up the tape the 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 bit of excess off the skirting board and he's going to chop that up in a minute and into three parts and we make three little shelves for the mini shelf. I just want to say that we're definitely not professional DIYers, um, we're not really decorators in any way or shape or form, um, we just give it a go so don't take any of this on professional advice because it's definitely not, <laughs> as you can probably see from our painting skills. Yay, new brush. So here Sam's just measuring up um, the leg components to the mini shelf. Um, he's just drawing them out to where he's gonna put them. Um, originally, he attempts to chisel the bit of wood out so the shelves kind of sit flush in it, but after trial and error, we realized that wasn't a very good idea and he ends up just sawing like a little groove, which later on in the video, you'll see what I mean by that. So here we're just having a little debate about how what how what gap between the shelves we need and I was trying to say that washies aren't that big and I went and got a little example washi <laughs> um, to see how big we needed it to be. Um, so yeah. So here Sam's just measuring the distance between and how long he actually needs to make these legs. Um, he didn't really want to be in these videos, especially as he was in his pajamas. Um, but I, I kind of like said that this is a, an important bit. It's like measuring it out, so it needs to stay in. <laughs> so here I'm just carrying on painting the shelf. Um, I gave it a couple of coats of this white paint, and then in a little while you'll see that I do a glittery coat. Um, I actually do a couple of glittery coats, and you can't really see it. I kind of regretted doing it because I felt like a bit of a waste of time, but. Um, I just kind of wanted that bit of extra sparkle. So coming up in a moment, I'm going to flash up on the screen um, the actual measurements, basically the label off the bit of skirting board. So as you can see, it's kind of like a little bit of a C beveled shape there, and that just tells you how big and long it is. So it was very, it was a very long bit of 
to go on board really, it fitted really well across the room. Um, we already have a picture rail um, in the middle of the room where this is going to be, so I, my plan was just to kind of put it above that, which you'll see later on once we put it in place. Um, so here is where Sam decides it was going to try and give it a little go to chisel this out um, to make the shelf, but like I say, he actually changes his mind and doesn't do that. So here you can see the little bits of wood that make up the washi shelf. So we've got two end pieces with the little indents grooved in um, and then three little shelves basically which are the skirting board. Um, so the end pieces, like I say, Sam just sawed little grooves in there and they fitted perfectly. He didn't want to do that because you could kind of see the groove from the front but I didn't really care and as, if you see the end result I actually stuck a bit of washi along the edge of the front and it covers up that little gap so I didn't really this isn't something that's meant to be perfect I'm just it's a simple storage solution that was basically with pretty much stuff we had um, apart from the bin skirting board and yeah it worked out perfectly I'm really happy with it so so I'm just giving this little mini washi shelf a little couple of coats of paint um, in my nice Christmas dressing gown there, my little Grinchy dressing gown. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sitting in the conservatory at the minute so it's pretty cold um, and yeah, so I'll give this a couple of coats and then let it dry. So here I'm just doing the glitter coat, so this is um, just some glitter paint that I got from B&Q so it says it could be used on wood, plastic or any craft project so it's really fine glitter so it is really hard to see but it did add a bit of a like a varnishy kind of coat to it and it does add a bit of a sparkle. Um, I did quite a few coats I think I did four or five coats and you still can't really see it that clearly unless you're up close but it's still nice it adds a little sparkly touch. <laughs> Now I'm just giving the little mini washi shelf a little sparkly glittery coating as well. So in this next step, I actually try and attach the shelf together and I also attach these little mini, I want to say L brackets, um, onto the back of the actual big main shelf. Um, I've got some kind of basically like no more nails, the cheaper version stuff there. Um, it says it could be used on wood, plastics, all sorts of stuff. So my idea was that I was going to try and stick it together using the no more nails. Um, it didn't really work very well and then I went upstairs and I had a chat with Sam and we were going to use the glue gun but then we decided if we just do it quickly, put it all in all the holes and hold it together, it actually worked okay. So it stuck fine and it's it's very sturdy and worked really well once it all dried. I just had to kind of make sure it wasn't coming out of the grooves and like wipe it around the edges. So yeah. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of placing it in with this little stick um, and moulding it around the gap around the bottom of the shelf. Um, like I say, I actually redo this in a minute and I do it all at the same time because I realised if I put one shelf in, it maybe wouldn't be straight and 
I got myself in a bit of a tizz, but it worked eventually. So here I'm just showing you the size and the name of the brackets there. Um, so uh, realistically these brackets are meant to be screwed into whatever they're being attached to. But obviously because the bit of skirting is so thin, if I screwed a screw through there, it just come out the other side of the bit of skirting board. So I use the same like no more nails gluey stuff to just basically glue, attach this on. And then I screw it to the wall with the other side. And it's, it's held really well. I've, I ended up using four brackets because it was quite a long bit. I was only going to use three, but I thought there's no harm in putting an extra one on. Um, so yeah, it worked really well, this. This isn't very useful to watch with my hand in the way. <laughs> so I am just, I'm just basically moulding and making sure because there's obviously a hole in the bracket so I was just squishing all the gluey stuff around. There you go, you can kind of see what I've done there. So yeah, like I say, it worked fine and it's, he it's held really well. The washi tape's so light, it's not like I'm putting anything heavy on it um, that needed loads and loads of support. So here I am with my drill. I absolutely love my drill. I got this for Christmas a couple of years ago off my dad and it's like my favourite thing. It's a bit muddy. Um, I was saying to Sam when I was using it that just now, when I was doing this, um, that it needs to clean. I was using it in the garden last, so. Um, but yeah, so basically Sam held, holds it against the wall and then I just screw the four screws in. It was really simple. Um, he was on about putting brackets into the wall and putting roll plugs in, but I was saying it was so light, just a simple screw just, just held it held it up it was fine now for the fun bit so here I organize all my washi tape into different shades um, I kind of didn't know what way to organise these so at first I was like do I organise it by like pattern or do I organise it by colour so I quite like the satisfaction of the colour um, because I have got so many different patterned washies um, it, it doesn't run very smoothly but I really like it I'm really happy with the outcome so you can see my little happy face here while I'm sorting my washies and finding ones that I haven't seen for ages. So this room here is our little craft room. This is just our small spare bedroom. Um, this used to be Sam's games room, office -y type thing. Um, he's got his desk on the other side of the room. Um, but in the winter, it's too cold to use the conservatory. In the summer, it's too bright to use the conservatory. And that's where I had all my craft stuff set up. So, Oh, and also he got a pool table. So that's why we ended up splitting me into here. So we're both squeezed in this little room, but it's quite cosy. I've kind of got one corner of the room, he's got the other corner, so. Um, we haven't ever really like redecorated this room since we bought our house, but it's nice and neutral and does the job for what we want. So 
So here I'm just organising them into different like shades. So I've got blue, green, pinks and purples, um, golds, um, blacks, and then like more white with different patterns on. So I seem to have a lot of like white with different patterns or shades on. Um, and then that on the little mini washi shelf, what I'm doing there is I'm putting the top shelf, I've put like more prominent, just like actual picture washi. So things with like symbols on. And then the second shelf I'm making to like washi with words on. So like days of the week washi and stuff like that. So yeah, I quite enjoyed this process. It was very th therapeutic. So here I'm just starting to place the washies onto the shelf. So I divide the pinks and purples up here. And I think I start with like red and then go into pink. Eventually I actually move these down slightly and I end up putting the, the golds and then the yellows and then the oranges into reds um, and doing it that way instead. So yeah, this is just a little process of me popping all the colours onto the shelves. I take some out and pop some back in and move them along a little bit. So.
I really hope you've enjoyed this process. Um, I'm sorry it has been a bit mismashy. Like I say, I just filmed random bits of footage and I'm definitely no pro DIYer or carpenter or shelf builder. I just wanted a little bit of storage for washi. So I got creative and this is what the outcome was. So I hope you enjoy. This is just a little um, run through of all my lovely washies. It's like the colour of the rainbow. And I hope now that I do end up using them a lot more. Um, and then maybe I can buy more. <laughs> So yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a little like. Um, and if you don't already, please consider subscribing. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>